Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number second of exercise 6.2, and we are going to solve the last two parts of this question. In this question, E and F are the points on the side PQ and PR respectively of triangle PQR. For each of the following case, state whether EF is parallel to QR. So a triangle PQR is given to you. And E is the point on PQ and F is the point on PR. You have to state whether this line EF is parallel to QR or not. And the measurement of these sides are given to you. Now, according to basic proportionality theorem, a line in a triangle cuts two line in equal proportion. Then this line must be parallel to this. Third line means if the ratio between, or you can say the uh, the ratio between this and this is equal to this and this, then according to basic proportionality theorem, this line is parallel to this line. So if you want to prove that this line is parallel to this line, what you have to do is you have to prove that the ratio between these two lines is equal because these two are the lines. Which this line is cutting. So here I have to prove that the ratio between PE and EQ is equals to PF upon FR. So here the value of PE is given to you as four centimeter. The value of EQ, EQ is given to you as four point five centimeter. This is equals to PF, which is again eight. And RF, which is equals to nine, so you have to prove that these two ratios are equal. So if I remove this decimal, one zero will be added to the numerator. Now this can be cancelled five uh, by five. This is five eight times forty, and five nine times forty five. So here on the left hand side, this is eight upon nine, and on the right hand side is it is also eight upon nine. So the ratio is same, means. This EF line cutting these two line in equal ratios. So obviously this line must be parallel to this line. So here EF must be parallel to QR. Similarly, in this third part also, you have to prove that this EF is parallel to QR. For that also, you have to prove that the ratio between this and this must be equal to this and this. And uh, this ratio PE upon EQ. Can be written as PE upon PQ. Now, on the right hand side, we have to prove that PF upon PR. The ratios of these two are similar, or you can say same. The value of PE is given to you as point one eight. The value of PQ is given to you as 1.28, and this is equals to PF, and the value of PF is 0.36, and the value of PR is 2.56. Now, if I cancel this two decimal, will be cancelled with these two decimals, and these two decimals will be cancelled with these two decimals. So there are only numbers left here. Now. If I cancel this uh, by six, uh, if I cancel this by two, this is nine times, this is six, and this is four. So here, the value must be nine by sixty-four. Again, on the right hand side, if I cancel this by four, so this is nine times, and by four, and this is. 64. So here also the ratio between these two lines are equal. So clearly in this case also this line EF must be parallel to QR. So this is how you can prove or you can say you can solve this question. Thank you.